Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to create photo albums for the iPhone. So this is one of the most frequently asked questions I get. How do you create albums in the Photos app on the iPhone? Well, the answer is you don't. You can't create albums on the actual iPhone. What you need to do is you need to create them on your Mac or PC and then sync with your iPhone. That's how albums appear in the Photos app. So if you look at the Photos album in iPhoto, you can see that there's a variety of different things. The first is Camera Roll. Now that's a special one. That's photos that come from one of three sources. One is from photos that you take with the camera in your iPhone. The other is screenshots. You can see my last one there is a screenshot. And the third would be any app that creates an image and saves it out will save it to the camera roll. So these are things made by your iPhone. Now if you go back to the list of albums you could see that there's a variety of different things here. One is the photo library. The other is the last import from into iPhoto. The other is the last 12 months. And then two albums I created, Scenery and Animals. Now let's take a look at where those come from. So here's iPhoto on my Mac. Now you can see in events, I've got a variety of events here, and I can view them in events or photos. Go back to events here, I can look on the left here, I also see I've got my last import, and I've got my last 12 months of photos. I also have two albums I created, one called Scenery and one called Animals. Now the way I created those albums was that I simply went into one of these events or viewed photos in just about any way, and I just took, say, two photos like that, I clicked on the Create button and I can create an album just like that. I could also add to these collections here just by clicking on a photo and dragging it over to one of these albums. A lot of other different things you can do. For instance, you can control or right click in the left sidebar here and select a new album as well. So I've created these new albums here. So now I've got them. You can change them. You can go in here and delete, change the name of these photos, change the name of the albums themselves. A lot of different things you can do to set up your albums like you want in iPhoto. Now the next step is to go into iTunes and connect your iPhone. You can see it right here. Now after you do that you have a whole list of things you can do and the last one over here is called Photos. So you want to select Photos here and then you get to choose what to do. You can simply say Sync Photos from iPhoto and select All Photos, Albums, Events, and Faces. Or I could select some of the albums and events. So I can say get the most recent events. I can select specific albums. So I can say I want those two that I created uh, included. I can select specific events, even specific faces in my collection. So I can just go back to this one just to have the settings like I want. And when you do that you simply click apply and it will sync all of the albums that you've got selected here to your iPhone. Now you can also choose to sync photos from folders and you can choose a specific folder to sync from. Now if you do that the subfolders inside there will be used as albums. So you can basically arrange photos in the finder in a single folder with a bunch of subfolders and create albums that way. This is also one of the main ways that you can do it from Windows. In Windows you would create a folder, create some subfolders which would be your albums, arrange the photos like you want in there, and then set iTunes to sync the photos from that folder. And then you can rearrange those folders, change what pictures are in there, and resync with your iPhone to change what photos appear on your iPhone and which albums. Now probably the reason you can't create albums or move photos around between albums on your iPhone is syncing. I mean after you create an album on the iPhone what happens when you sync again? Does it create that album in iPhoto? Does it change any albums that you've created in iPhoto if you move photos around or change their names? It gets very complicated and it's very easy maybe to make a quick change on your iPhone that then goes and changes everything in iPhoto in a way that you wouldn't expect. So it's probably best to have the syncing work one way from your Mac to your iPhone. So that's how to create and manage photo albums in the Photos app on your iPhone. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.